Hello, if you've been watching for this long, you have reached part two of our NFL preview. Here we have John Rigo doing our NFC preview. Take it away. If you've been watching this long, you let me know. I will send you a gift certificate to any restaurant you want to. Because this joking? has been very long. Of course I'm joking, Matthew, but I have to say something. By the way, you will also win a giraffe. You win a giraffe? Okay. Anyways, like I said, I was going to do my little dance. You know what? Just do it, Dad. You're going to live. What do you mean I'm going to live? You're going to live till you're 90, like the Terriot guy said. The Terriot? It wasn't a guy. <laughs> Anyways, first pick, NFC East. Matthew's wearing the colors. Philadelphia Eagles. That's right. I actually am. There you are. Good job. There's the Eagles. Um, Carson Wentz threw over 30 touchdowns last year. He missed two games. I expect him, that was bad, to throw 30 touchdowns again. 12 interceptions. They have a great team. They have a great defense. They won the Super Bowl for a reason. I expect them to go 12 and 4. Next up, the Cowboys. The Cowboys are going to go 10 and 6. I like Zeke Elliott a lot. He missed time last year due to suspension. With the suspension because he was an idiot for what he did. But um, I think they're a good enough team. They did lose Des Bryant, but you know what? I, I I think they can overcome that. Do you even know who he went to? I have no idea who we went to. I He's still in free Broncos. agency. Now next, I'm going to go with the New York Giants at 8-8. Eight eight. I think they've improved some. Eli had a bad year last year. I expect him to have a better year. Even though he's getting older too, as Matthew likes to say. We got Shaquan Barkley. That's it. Good running back. The best in football. I was hoping Denver took him when it is picked, but he was already gone by then. If Denver hadn't won those games, they probably could have gotten him. They hadn't won the last game of the year, which was dumb. Anyways. They didn't win the last game of the year. Didn't they? No. No, they lost against oh, the Jets. Oh, they won they won against the Jets. The Jets. That didn't and they won against the Colts too. They won against the Jets and the Colts when the Jets won where Josh right, McCown let's broke. Let's stop talking about the Broncos. Let's we're, start rambling. We're wasting our breath on that in the NFC. Alright, now I think the Redskins, I'm not a big fan of Alex Smith. I think they go seven and nine. He'll have his fourteen touchdowns and nine interceptions or whatever. Do you really think he's gonna numbers. go back to his old self or do you think he's actually gonna do like last year and have like No, he's gonna go back to his old self. Because the Redskins aren't that good. Dump off passes? Yeah, so set seven and nine for them. All right, now the North. No. Yeah, yes, the we'll North. We'll do the North. Here's the team that I think is really good in this division, the Vikings. The Vikings could have made the Super Bowl last year, but unfortunately when they went to Philadelphia, they played like total crap. And then um, <laughs> Case Keenum, how funny, he was the quarterback. Now they've got Kirk Cousins, who's an upgrade over Case Keenum. And they have a monstrous defense. And they have Good defense, Harrison Smith. They also have the good receivers. Was, Stephon Diggs and I Adam. Forget. Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen is excellent. No, there's another guy they have too. They have a third guy that's good. Tom Maybe Rudolph? the viewers can help us. No. I don't Let remember, man. I didn't do enough reading. I'm sorry, guys. I was unprepared for this test. Uh, anyways, let us know your picks in the comments below. <laughs> there's gonna be zero comments below, Matthew. Don't expect that. You anyway. never know. I know, one person might feel bad for us. They want their gift certificate. <laughs> Anyways. We'll give next, you some gift certificates to, Green to Bay, Papa Gino's. Green Bay 10-6. Um, Aaron Rodgers coming back. Who throws a nice sparrow all the time, by the way. Uh, should do a good job. They, they did lose Jordy Nelson. Seven, Jordy Nelson. That doesn't help them at all, believe me. He's been a favorite receiver of um, uh, He's been a favorite receiver of Green Bay. Mine. He's been a favorite receiver of Rodgers, man. But uh, I think they'll go ten and six. Next team, Detroit. The inconsistent Lions. They sometimes make the playoffs, sometimes don't. I expect eight and eight, which is perfect for them. I like Matthew Stafford. He is a clutch quarterback, but the defense is always shaky at times, and I don't trust them. And the Bears, who I think suck personally. I think they go 5-11. Trubisky, not that good from what I saw. Is he a bust? He hasn't a bust yet. He's only played one year. But we can say the same with Paxton Lynch. Paxton though. Lynch is in his third year, and he can't read a defense. He's a miss. Uh, next. NFC South. The South. Saints. I think the Saints win the division with 12-4. and four. Um, Drew Brees is another one who's old that throws tons of touchdown passes. He didn't he throw as many game. last year, though. What did he throw, 25? 26. Still excellent. I'll but they, the reason why they made the playoffs, defense. I think, is the two, their defense did improve, and they had a two-headed running monster, Mark Ingram and Alvin 
Camaro. Listen to Matthew. Thank you for telling me. Um, and it's just I think they're, they're a good team. Second place, I like Atlanta. Atlanta to go 10 and 6. Second wild card. First wild card's Dallas. They're the second wild card. You, so you're saying Green Bay's going to miss a 10 6? Oh, wait. Freeway tie? I don't know. Let me think about it. I'll make that decision at the end. I have to figure out the tiebreakers in my head, like I have any clue. But Atlanta 10 and 6, I think they're a good team. Ryan won MVP a couple years ago. Granted, at the end of that Super Bowl against the Patriots, they were throwing up all over themselves. But, but the Patriots did a good job as well, too. It was kind of a comeback and a choke all in one. Uh, anyways, the rest of the division, Carolina, I think, is very overrated. Nine, uh, seven and nine. Cam Newton has that funky windup. He throws guns, but half the time it's over people's heads. Do Superman. I hate that, by the way. So seven and nine, and. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. They should go back to the creamsicle uniforms. Six Which is actually something we read online. Six and ten. All right. Last team division. The West. The West. Hall, oh, Hall some, of Famer. I have some comments for this. I haven't gotten to the Hall of Famer yet. Give me a second. I like the Rams to win the division at 12 and 4. I like Jared Goff a lot. He had a good season last year. Unfortunately, in the playoff game against Atlanta, they played like total garbage. But good experience, first year. They loaded up on defense. They added Tlaib. They added Marcus Peters. They added Marcus Peters. They added some really good players. They had two good cornerbacks. I'll take that. Um, but I, I like that. Todd Gurley is probably one of the top two or three running backs in football. Let's hope he's good. Next team. I like the Seahawks. Most people don't. I think they'll at least hang in there and go 9-7. and seven. Russell Wilson is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league. He's so tiny, but yet he finds a way. He's always running making all those plays. He reminds me a lot like Randall Cunningham. He reminds me of a short version of Randall Cunningham. I like Russell Wilson a lot. They've lost a lot of guys though, nine and seven. Now let's go to my favorite team right here. The San Francisco 49ers who happen to make a trade for Jimmy, the Hall of Famer Garoppolo. Well, the reason why I call him a Hall of Famer is I live in Boston. Garoppolo played for the Patriots and he was a backup to Tom Brady. Showed some flashes, won a couple games a couple years ago. Oh my God. He won a few games for San Fran at the end of the year. He had seven touchdowns and five interceptions. The lifetime record might be six and all. He got a $125 million contract for five years. Are you kidding me after six starts? But he's going to Canton, John. Come it's, on. It's, it's like Brock Osweiler. He's the next Brock Osweiler. I think he's better than Brock Osweiler. Let's not make him that bad, but still. I think he's a decent quarterback, but he's played six games. Six games. Good luck playing against the Seahawks defense and the Rams defense. We'll see how he does. Hall of Fame of Jimmy G. There are people that said trade Tom Brady and keep Garoppolo. Huh. Sure. Yeah, that really worked out. That well. would be pretty idiotic. But people get tied to that. Now let's see. Who am I missing? Cardinals. Oh, the Cardinals. The Cardinals have gone through quarterbacks. Unfortunately, Carson Palmer had to retire. He was getting old. Shoulder injuries. He was a good quarterback. He was. They brought in Bradford, who's not that bad. By the way, I wish Bradford went to Denver over Case Keenum. I you take Bradford? Him. Absolutely. And his high shoulder pads? I don't care about that. If he stays healthy, he's a better quarterback than Case Keenum is. Um, I think they'll go 5-11. and 11. They did draft which guy? Did they draft Rosen? They drafted Rosen. They drafted Rosen. Maybe he gets a chance to play. All right. If you guys aren't bored to tears by now, it's Matthew's turn. All righty. Oh my god, 8.46. You're rambling. I'm rambling. Ramble on by Led Zeppelin. All right, continue. Now it's time for Philadelphia. I think they're going to take a step back in their victories and go 11-5. and five. I don't know if Carson Wentz is going to start their first couple of weeks due to his rehab oh, injury. Oh, wait, I have to get back. My second wild card is Green Bay. The Cowboys are going to miss. At 10-6? At 10-6, yeah. Which is something that doesn't happen very often. It can. All right, continue on. I think the Cowboys... I think Philadelphia is going to... Step back at 12, 11 and 5. I love Philadelphia. They've, I've been a fan for six years. I've always loved their uniforms. I like the logo. And I loved LaShawn McCoy and Fort before he went to Buffalo. Me too. Okay. Continue on, my so friend. So then, like I said, Carson Wentz, if he comes back healthy, 12 and 4. If he doesn't, 11 and 5. So then, I have the Dallas Cowboys next up in the division, going 9-7. Here comes train number six. Let's toss the football. No kidding, they can see you. Go back. Dallas Cowboys going 9-7. Dak and Zeke still very talented players. All right. Sorry. Maybe I'll come closer. Continue on. Unfortunately, they did lose Des Bryant. They did cut Des Bryant. I don't know why they cut him though. So then, but like I said, nine and seven. Next up, Giants. I think they're gonna do a little better. Eli Manning may get some more starts this year. 
the Redskins, who I just think are going to be a joke this year. Five and eleven. They're a joke because they have Alex Smith. Which is probably a stupid. Did they trade for Alex Smith? Yes. I know. All right, go ahead, continue. Then we have the NFC North, which is probably going to be one. I think is one of the best divisions, I've, except for the Chicago Bears. I have I have the Minnesota Vikings going twelve and four. I like. The, I have to say the Vikings behind the Patriots and Eagles are probably one of my third or fourth favorite teams. I actually, I do like their uniforms, even though they have the dull helmets. They're, they have loads of talent on defense and offense. They're just so fun to watch. It does suck they do play indoors, though. I think that Kirk Cousins is going to step in and do good, actually. Then we have Green Bay, I think, are going to go 11-5. and Because... Aaron Rodgers still has tons and tons of talent, even though he's 36 years old. He he is probably a future Hall of Famer in my opinion. Not probably. He is? <laughs> Not probably. We got some soccer players on to our left. Man, the horizon looks cr pretty cool. Then... Anyways, I got distracted. Then they kicked the ball into the net. Next up, I have Detroit. I think Detroit's going to be a little bit of a surprise team to go 10-6 this year. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of good teams this year in the NFC. The NFC is stacked compared to the AFC. Imagine if some NFC teams move to the AFC. It would be more even. So, Detroit, 10-6. I think they're going to win some years. But I think about half those wins are going to be comebacks by um, excuse me, Matthew Stafford, I'd have to say. Because he did have eight, eight comebacks in the 2016 season. Which is a lot, I'd have to say. Eight comebacks in one season. That is a lot. Then we have then we have Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears, which I don't think are ready to do anything, so I think they're gonna go four and twelve. Next up we have another good division in the NFC South. I think the Falcons are gonna go eleven and five and win the division over the Saints. Because Matt Ryan is very talented. He he did have a little bit of a step back year and only twenty five touchdowns compared to thirty eight touchdowns the year before. But he still has very talented players. So I think he's going to step it up and throw 30 this year. Next, you have the New Orleans Saints, who I think are going to tie the... who are going to tie the... the not the Rams. Falcons. The Falcons at 11-5. and five. I just think the Falcons will win the tiebreaker, though. Drew Brees is 38 years old, but he still has talented wide receivers in Michael Thomas. And he also has a two-headed monster in running backs to help him with Alvin Kamara and... Mark Ingram, like I said earlier. Then, I think the Panthers are going to go 9-7. They have good talent in Christian McCaffrey and Cam Newton and all that stuff. But, I just don't think they're ready yet. I don't think they're they're still capable enough to win the playoff games in that stacked division. Then we have Tampa Bay, which I'm not going to say. You know what? How about this? Tampa Bay, 3-13 and Tampa Bay. Okay. I don't think Jameis Winston is that. James I don't think Winston he's that good. He's a Met quarterback. And? and now it's time for the NFC West. I think the Rams are going to do a great job in 11 and 5. I just, I like the Rams, like my dad said. I like their defense. I love their offense. I really like Jared Goff stepping in the pocket and just throwing balls to people. His first year, I didn't think he was going to be that good. But, but with talented wide receivers, he's actually a very pretty good quarterback. Then I have the Seattle Seahawks at 9 and 7. I don't think they're gonna do that good this year because their defense literally fell is gonna fall apart. Cam Chancellor retired. Earl Thomas retired. Richard Sherman is now a San Francisco 49er, and the Legion of Boom is the Legion of one player left. Unfortunately. Good play. Good call. Then, then like my dad said, Hall of Famer Jimmy Garoppolo. Just to be funny, six and ten. I hope he goes six and ten. I don't want him to have a bad year personally, but then it would we have be funny. Arizona, which unfortunately I think are going to go four and twelve, because I really do like the Cardinals at some players and Larry Fitzgerald, who is a future Hall of Famer, I Absolutely. have to say. But it's just they have no talent, unfortunately. But they do have talent in Chandler Jones, which is very good. All right. If anybody's watching this video this long, you've won a hundred dollars. <laughs> My God, train number seven. Anyways. All right, back up. What is your Super Bowl prediction? Two teams, winner, go. 
Patriots. Who are the Patriots? All right, we have, we have the Patriots. I said the Patriots earlier in the AFC. Mm -hmm. Next up in the NFC, I think I'm gonna have the. We're gonna have Minnesota, which would be a pretty good Super Bowl, I'd have to say. Who's gonna win? New England 25. 25. Not 20, not, you get 25. New England, New England 31. Minnesota 28. Okay. Wow, that'd be a good Super Bowl like last year. All right. Now, let's ask Dad's predictions. Dad? Yes. Well, my prediction for the AFC is New England. My prediction for the NFC is Minnesota. I stole it from Matthew. But my Super Bowl prediction, the Vikings, 31, Patriots, 24. Write it down. Okay, don't write it down because if you pick it, you're probably going to lose money. Thank you very much for watching this long, long, boring video. Long, long edition of Jack Riegel Productions video Part predictions two. for 2018. This video is Thank not. Thank you kindly. Would you like to say it, Dad? No, I don't know about the copyright. This video is not sponsored by the NFL or the NFC. We love you all.